Hi guys, Yas Chris here, 2019 European and National Craftland Champion in my age group. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about the Meta Racer. <laughs> to the review guys so firstly I'm going to discuss the glide ride shoe now only briefly um, because I think this is important before I discuss um, the meta racer so firstly when this shoe came out um, I got a um, chance to try it out and it was basically a new technology from ASICS um, like curved sole to make you um, use less energy and to therefore make you run faster. Now, um, I wasn't overly keen on this shoe. It was definitely for a long distance runner and um, I didn't really get on with it, but it was definitely looked very good and promising for the future. And of course, while this was out, there was other um, carbon plate shoes were coming out onto the market. But this definitely showed that it could have potential so next thing on to the Nova Blast. So Nova Blast, a shoe that I very much did like and I thought it was good for the longer runs. Um, I have done a review on this re uh, previously. Now this was um, did have its flaws. Of course, it, it's not carbon, carbon plate, but it did have a lot of um, foam here and it came with the, um, the blast foam and um, as you can see, it's got the curved sole as well from the previous shoe, the Glide Ride. So definitely looking the technology um, wise, it was looking bright for ASICs. And this was a shoe that I really did like. Um, the tongue was all right, um, not, not excess, um, and it was breathable. Anyway, I had a, did a review, a review before on it. So this basically what I'm saying is in here that this was a quick, this is a quick shoe. Um, and I was impressed by it and it, it was good for longer runs and I'd use this for like half marathons or marathons um, and I, as I mentioned in the previous uh, video that I wouldn't probably use this for um, 5k's or 10k's but it definitely had potential um, good shoe now on to the meta racer now this shoe I've been looking forward to so much and um, uh, ASICs have gifted this to me um, I was meant to get this back um, when the, near enough, um, just after the Paris Marathon when it was launched. But unfortunately, um, COVID came and um, everything was put on hold. Now, this, this why you had the big war with the carbon play um, shoes at the moment, which, which, um, well, which rival, which company is trying to get um, the best out of the shoe and get the PB, there's no question I doubt to say that the carbon shoe definitely makes you faster because of the PBs. We can see records being smashed left, right and centre, really. Um, you've seen the math and record go, um, I, well, the math and record go full stop. And then you had the two hour barrier broken as well. I know it wasn't official Mario, um, uh, marathon, but yeah, so that, that, that's what I'm saying. So that people are looking for... Um, a type of shoe to make them get faster and hopefully um, you can get that PB. Now the Meta Racer, while this was happening with its rivals um, going head to head, the Meta Racer was in the background um, and it was being developed. Now the professionals were using this and um, the Ironman record, course record, was broken in 219 and he was wearing a prototype. So th that was this. Also, we saw later on featured um, Elish McCulkin had this at a great self run and she broke the course record and her mum's record that had been held for so long. So it had potential and that was obviously a PB for her. So this had potential, so looking forward to it. And it was going to be released for the Par Paris Marathon and it was a project to try and show that you can try and get a PB with this shoe. Now, First impressions of this. Now, that we, firstly, I've got to mention this is a carbon plate shoe. So we know that it could 
have potentially the potential to be quick, a quick shoe. Now, carbon plate shoes on the market, they, they, they basically fly out and they're sold out straight away. So I was really looking forward to this and seeing what this kind of shoe would do. Now, first impressions, you know me, I like funky colors and um, it's like an orangey, pinky color. It's actually called a sunrise color, um, according to ASICS. I love it, um, I like my funky colors. So firstly, the design is quite nice. Um, it, the black actually looks, um, looks apart and stands out. Now, you've got the Tokyo because it was gonna um, be worn for the Olympics and of course, um, and for the marathon, but the Olympics did not go ahead. So that's quite a nice touch to see to see firstly. So when you look at the top half, um, you can we can see that it's quite light. Now the material is very light, um, very light here. Um, it's also got a lot of light slits in the mesh. Now the mesh is um, designed to actually keep you cool and also keep the wet out. So to, to keep your um, feet cooler, therefore you're able to save energy according to ASICS. Now, the other thing is, is the tongue. Now the tongue is very thin, so it's, a, um, it's actually really good, no excess tongue, so it's very thin, um, and it actually like, feels like it molds into the shoe um, in a way. Now the shoelaces, they're, they're quite thin and they're quite a nice touch as well to go with the shoe, and um, they're very light. So the shoe actually um, is very, very, uh, very light. Now that's the top half. Um, and it's got a little, you know, a little design there anyway. Um, so that's the top half. Now, the, um, the, the whole purpose of the shoe was to save energy and therefore later on in the race you can kick on and therefore um, get a, a PB. Now the top half of the shoe, um, the mesh is there to, to actually keep you cool, so therefore it's saving energy as well. So now I'm gonna go on to the second part of the shoe. I'm gonna talk about the, um, the, the bottom half basically. So firstly, you've got the, um, it's the curve. So it's got the glide sole technology in with it. So with this technology, ASICs have gone slightly different to their rivals um, in the carbon, uh, I call it the carbon plate war. Because what they've done is they've actually gone into a more racing flatter shoe. So you can see that it goes right, um, it is not as bulky, uh, as its rivals, and it goes um, it goes down as well, quite um, quite low. So that's um, and that's with the flying foam foam with the carbon um, the carbon plate inside. Now um, it's very light, as I said. Now underneath, um, as you can see, I've used these. They are um, the rubber. There's a lot of rubber now. Um, there's a lot of rubber. Uh, I'm guessing so it can it can last longer because we've heard that a lot of these carbon shoes don't last very long. So I'm guessing this, this is to last the test of time really. And um, as you can see, there's a little slit there as well um, um, to keep you cool, I assume. Um, I will discuss that because you'll be wondering, do you get wet? Now, I took this on um, my threshold run for a spin basically. And um, I, I didn't really know what, I, I didn't want to get into the hype of these carbon plate um, shoes. So I didn't want to like get in the hype. I was excited by these shoes, but I wanted to see what, what it was like compared. So um, I did a, a threshold run. So I had 10 minutes of easy running and I did threshold run. And I was meant to keep it roughly about six minute miles for four miles. Um, roughly, and then a 10 minutes easy. Now, it was raining and it was quite wet. So I went round where I normally do my retro running industrial site and um, I was doing loops. Now, when I started off going, uh, what I, um, I realized the first mile I'd gone off too fast at two, um, sorry, at 5.43 minute uh, a mile pace. Now, I thought I'd gone off too fast, so I was trying to slow myself down and um, I couldn't which was really weird. I couldn't slow myself down, um, only by a few seconds. I felt really comfortable. Now, this is what um, baffled me really, because I felt really comfortable. Legs didn't feel tired, upper body didn't feel tired, and my heart rate was not um, nowhere near where it, it could be for a threshold. It was at least six to eight beats per minute lower. Now, um, it could be because I got fitter, but I, I felt really strong and the course was wet. 
Um, I carried on and I did a 540, 544, 545 and 547. Now I wasn't tired at all, could have gone on. And if I carried on that pace, um, I could have probably um, gone on to a PB of 10K um, and so on. But I felt really comfortable. Now I, w I was buzzing with it because um, I tried to slow myself down and couldn't. And um, I had to force myself to try, try to, but I felt so comfortable, like as if like, um, it just felt that they felt so light on, they felt like there was nothing um, on my feet um, and I felt like I was bouncing along and I felt, um, I just felt like I was going across the ground quite quickly. Now, um, we'll quickly go back to the rubber. Now, there doesn't look like as much grip on there. Uh, I had no problems with it in the rain, so there was no problems with it. I wasn't slipping around at all and as I said, I was doing a quite comfortable pace um, obviously it wasn't an interval session so please uh, bear this in mind it was a threshold run so um, I wasn't pushing that hard, hard. but um, it felt really good and I was buzzing from it and I came back home and I told my wife I said oh, I can't believe I feel really like comfortable and um, I don't feel tired from it so do I think this is uh, energy efficient I, I personally do think it's energy efficient. Um, it definitely saves energy, and I definitely think this is a shoe that will get you a PB. Um, we, it's no, no, well, it, it's no doubt that carbon plate shoes are quicker. But I was super impressed by this, and this was um, like beyond expectations. Um, smashed my expect expectations. Um, it was really light. It maintained its comfiness. I, I did six miles. It felt fine in the six miles. Uh, no problems with the toes. Um, there's enough room to um, breathe. Um, no leak, as I mentioned. No, no water got into there. So I guess in that's to help to keep your feet cool. Um, it felt really, just really fast on, really comfy. No, no problems at all. Um, I had no problems with my... Um, my feet on the ground. The only thing I, I found it a bit odd that um, uh, it does make you go on your toes more, but I, I, I do run on my forefoot and my midfoot, um, midfoot runner as well. So um, uh, I wasn't heel striking, and obviously it, it's a bit hard to heel strike on these shoes. I, I found that I was um, bouncing along and I, I did feel like I, my stride was a lot stronger and I felt like I was pushing off, a bit like the Nova Blast um, did when I felt like I was bouncing along, but this felt m even more noticeable. So I was really, I'm, I'm really impressed by this and the way that ASICs um, have introduced this uh, shoe. Do I think it's um, as good as its rivals? Well, um, I, I personally think this is a game changer shoe. As we saw in the, the Ironman last year that um, the record was broken and um, it's, this is all about energy, uh, saving energy. Um, do I personally think I can get a PB in this? Yes, I, I, I would wear this on road running, um, uh, road running races. Now this, this was designed for half marathon and marathon. Um, obviously the longer you go, the more energy you save, the more, far, um, the more able you'll be able to get towards that PB, if you, if you get what I mean. Now do I think this is um, ideal for 5Ks and 10Ks? Yes, definitely. I think these are, um, these are good for 5Ks and 10Ks. Um, I think you could well get a PB. Um, I, I, I personally think when I do a next uh, road running race, um, I will wear these and um, I will hope I can get a PB of these. They're, they're definitely um, a, a great shoe and definitely very fast. Um, and um, a few of you probably will ask a question is, why won't I use these for my triathlons? Well, Thing is, I've got triathlon shoes. I use the Noosa tries, and I've used the four five ones in the past, and the Hyper tries. Now they're racing flats, and they are really good shoes. Now the problem is, um, I quite like the tongue um, in the in the um, Noosa tries, where they have the hole, so I can quickly put them in. Um, and then you had the four five ones, where had the Boa system, which was quick as well. Now. Um, I haven't ruled these out to use these yet. I'm very tempted to use these in my triathlon race uh, races. Now, probably most, mostly next year, because this year I'm just experimenting a bit, but these definitely the kind of shoe that I think will um, is a game changer. Um, so my conclusions, uh, what do I think of the shoe? Um, it, it retails for about £180 uh, 
UK pound. Um, is it worth the money? It is expensive. Um, I'm not going to deny that. Um, and will it last? Will it last? Now I did a long run with it, and it felt fine in the long run. I much preferred it for the speed sessions because um, I feel like you're getting a lot more out of the shoe. And if you like me, um, I have a a running a racing shoe for uh, well fast racing shoe for my um, speed sessions, and I have a long run shoe which are my Dyna flights for the um, for long runs. So um, and Nova Blast, but I I, I like this shoe. Um, but I prefer it much for a speed session and so you can get the most out of speed session. And um, the, the thing is for 180 pounds is, will it last? Now that's the problem, like with its rivals, we've heard that they don't last very, a lot of mileage. So the problem with this is, will it last? Now there's a lot of rub on here, as you can see, and um, ASICs are, um, have worked on this. And this is, I think to, to make it more robust and last longer. So what I'm saying is, my conclusion is that um, I would definitely use this shoe. Um, it, it, it is, I would say, possibly my favorite shoe now. Um, I, I mentioned the Fights in the last uh, review, and um, I love them shoes for more everyday training shoe, but this is definitely a shoe for PB. I recommend it. Is it worth the money? Well. Like everything, like in triathlon, if, if you want to compete or get that PB, you have to invest a bit of money. So unfortunately it is pricey, but it, I personally think it's worth the money and um, you can get a PB. I, I, I think this is a shoe that will get you that PB that you desired. So um, I hope you enjoyed um, me talking about the Meta Racer. I mean, I'm absolutely buzzing by this shoe. I, I mean, I love it. And um, I've never been so um, impressed by a shoe before. Like, um, obviously the, uh, the, be the models get better and better. So I'm, I mean, I'm looking forward to the next version. Um, yeah, and you'll probably see me around quite soon with this in the running race um, and maybe in the triathlon. So um, thanks for watching. Um, have you got a carbon plate shoe? What do you think? They definitely make a difference. And um, have you tried this shoe out? What, what do you think? Please leave in the comments. I'd like to hear your um, views on this. And uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. And thanks again for watching, guys. And the uh, champions of the Vizcentro uh, category, Henrietta Tarasevic, Emilianis Cristodoro, Kim Chibis, Cristodoro.